What you are about to see is a social experiment designed to see if eight beautiful women and eight geeks can help each other to become a whole lot more. Wha oh. <laughs> Last time, after winning the power to break up any two teams, Chris decided to break up his own team and take Tristan as his new partner. Not only am I kind of pissed at Chris, everyone in the house is pissed at Chris. You don't want to go to Elimination Room with me because you're going to get beat like it was junior high. You're scaring me. With the new teams formed, the challenges began. The beauties had to learn about politics. What would you do to prevent pollution? Not eating a lot of gaseous foods when we farting a lot, that's a form of air pollution. <laughs> What would you do to fix the current social security system? I think it's important that we are making good investments that will yield higher returns for us and the people after us. Share won the most votes. <laughs> While the geeks attempted to put on a show. You don't have to read my mind. Couldn't know what I had in mind. We can make a secret was Tyson who rocked the house with a little help from his trusty Rubik's Cube. Tyson, 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 Tyson. Giving Cher and Josh and Tyson and Ty the power to send two teams to the elimination room. Chris and Tristan. Brandon and Amanda. Chris and Tristan faced off against their former teammates, Brandon and Amanda. And once again, Chris's knowledge of pop culture helped him answer three questions in a row. What is the name of Gwen Stefani's clothing company? Uh, I'm just gonna have to go with Lamb. That is correct. Oh, man. Making Brandon and Amanda the first team to be eliminated from the game. Now, seven teams remain. Carl and Danielle. Josh and Cher, Ankur and Jennifer, Tyson and Ty, Joe and Brittany, Wes and Sarah, and Chris and Tristan, all in a quest to become more than just the beauty and the geek. Winning the elimination was so bittersweet because I really liked Brandon. I'd gotten Amanda pretty good too, and it was just it was really hard seeing either of them go. And I, I, at the same time, I'm thinking that could have so easily been me right now. Chris and Tristan walk through the door and, you know, everyone was like a little shocked. But, I mean, that was like the plan, was to get rid of Chris and and Tristan. Chris more so. I'm so glad Tristan is back. Chris, no comment. And then there were seven. Yeah. Cher approached us after being reunited and said, um, guys, I really want to talk to you in the library, in her sweet little fake voice. I know you guys took offense to what I said, and I know when you guys are in the position to eliminate someone, you'll feel the same way. When she selected Amanda and Brandon, Cher had said, and I hope to see you guys both come out of it. We're hoping that the group that we pick makes it out. I was like, how? <laughs> like, okay, wow, thanks, that was rude. Like, you you can think that, but don't say it out loud. Yeah, it sounded bad the way I put it. But it sounded bad the way you put it, so right. you meant what you said, but you, it just sounded bad. She always has something rude and kind of snobby to say, and I am i don't like it. Tell me what you're saying. They I, work with like, you. But I, like, it meant, I'm sorry that I'm putting you in here, but I have every confidence that you'll come out, and I hope you do. I understand that it basically sounded like beat Chris and Tristan because we want them gone, which essentially is what we wanted, but that shouldn't have been said like that.
Good morning, everyone. Good to see everyone. Good morning. When all of you walk into a room, I'm sure you see very different things. Ladies, you probably noticed the interior decorating and the design. Guys, you probably admire the type of TV or the video console, or most importantly, how many gigahertz the computer runs at and whether it has a dual processor. <laughs> So, in this challenge, we're going to switch things up. Guys, you're going to learn the ins and outs of decorating and interior design. Ladies, you'll be learning all about computers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. So, hopefully, in the end, ladies, you'll know all about Windows and desktop. And guys, you'll know all about Windows and desktops. <laughs> Remember, it is your job to help your teammates win. Because a victory in these competitions will bring you one step closer to that $250,000. Good luck. Thank you. I was a little nervous because Ankur has only designed robots and mechanical type things. So I was like, oh God. I'm probably gonna have to learn like how many bytes are in a gigabyte or whatever, right? I don't know that stuff. Don't like computers, not my thing don't like to download. I'm supposed to install it too? I'm not installing a program, am I? I don't know where to stick those wires. I helped Danielle study for the computer challenge. We just went over like the difference between a male connector and a female connector. Like, you can't, it's hard to plug something in somewhere where it's not gonna fit. A male connector has got the pins in it sticking out. Kind of like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I guess uh, a male or something. <laughs> So we got our mouse, our keyboard, and our monitor plugged in. Emailing, shopping. What else more do you have to know about computers? Like, what else would I be doing on there? <sighs> this is already overload for me. I'm getting tired. We bought ladders my roommates and I had to spell our name. Oh, nice. And I spray painted them gold, so it says Brit, kind of like in a rainbow thing. I really like decorating a lot. This is my bed, and here's my head, here's my uh -huh. feet, here's uh -huh. the door, here's uh -huh. the desk. I told Joe a little bit about the themes we have in my apartment. I got these coffee mugs that had cool shoes on them. Uh -huh. And what girls like our age tend to like and prefer tall vases and put single flowers in and white. I don't know what they're called, but if you do like Orchids. three on a fireplace, maybe. Look at the lamps. Yeah, lamp shades and stuff like that. Shades on lamps. So no, nothing... no bare bulbs. That's a sconce. A sconce. Mm -hmm. The last time I've designed a room would be never. Tell me about this room. You know, why even bother? This is just, this is, this is another fiasco waiting to happen. A bit is like a zero or a one. A what? It's just, done. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about a it. A pit? Don't worry a about it. A bit of what? Do, don't worry about it. Tyson is a study Nazi. Putting on makeup makes me study better. Every time I'm not studying, I can see him just looking around at me, you know, wondering, when are you gonna study? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> are you getting annoyed with me? Uh, a little. Oh! Hey guys! Hey! Hi! What's going on? I need all of the guys come downstairs with me. You're going on a little field trip, and the ladies should uh, all say goodbye to them because they're not gonna be back tonight. All right. When Mike came in the room and told us that the guys were going on a field trip, I was a little scared. I was wondering, <laughs> what are they gonna do? Say hi to Mark Don't Stewart. Do <laughs> All right, so here's the deal, gentlemen. You'll each have $1,500 to spend at bed, bath, and beyond. Your job is to pick out everything you'll need to stylishly, stylishly decorate a bedroom. Tomorrow, the ladies will be judging which room looks the best without knowing who did the decorating. The guy with the most votes wins the challenge for his team. So guys, it's time to go shopping. I know more about the mating habits of the beluga whale than I do about interior decorating. And I know absolutely nothing about the mating habits of the beluga whale. 
coming up. The geeks shop till they drop. Yeah. Ooh, cute. And learn that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That looks like blood. Whoa. That was psycho. Oh my god, they killed the teddy bear. When Beauty and the Geek returns. <laughs> All right. Walking into Bed, Bath & Beyond is a huge store. I mean, there's a lot of beyond in there, if you know what I mean. Where are the sheets? Hey, does anyone know where the sheets are? No. We're told we have $1,500 to decorate a room however we want. This is insane. I have no idea, I have no plan. It's going to end in disaster. Hey, Joe, do you know what a duvet, a duvet is? Is that the thing that goes over the bed like a this duvet. time? Nothing's more heterosexual than a bunch of guys going to Bed Bath & Beyond to decorate a bedroom. Ooh, Liz Claiborne. How are you doing? All right, fabric, fabric, fabric. Like any good geek, I did my homework and wrote down a bunch of things I thought I might need. Candles are a good thing, so I was planning on having a bunch of candles. Lots of fabrics and pillows. There's a pillow sham? Pillow shams? I don't even know what a pillow sham is. As far as getting girls back to my place and having them notice, hey, you know, you know how to decorate. Um, I don't think I've gotten that far yet. Yikes! Old! It's hard enough to meet the girl for me at this point. Wow! Oh god, here we go. <laughs> I stayed up all night studying. If I don't win the next challenge, I know I'm going to the elimination room. Like, people are threatened by me, and they see some competition, and they want to get the competition out. It's so quiet without them. I know. I miss those I little boogers. But the other girls who didn't study had a nice long dinner, oh, had some fun in the jacuzzi, oh, yeah. um, spent time gossiping. Guys, we're geek free for the night. Woo! Geek free. It's kind of nice that we had tonight, just as the girls' night. Everyone was excited for the guys to leave, but once they did leave, we noticed how quiet and kind of uneventful it is around here. These guys have been like rejected a lot because I talked to Wes like late at night and he's just like I don't want to be in a relationship now because I just can't handle a relationship I don't want to get hurt but never. I've been there too yeah. like I've been there guys have done yeah. me wrong but I'm like whatever and I move on these guys are just real like sweethearts all of them they're all human and just because they're geeky it doesn't mean that they can't you know be the best boyfriend to, to some girl out there so sad I'm really gonna miss them on my home Now that we got all our stuff, we went over to our rooms and we started decorating. Ugh. Has anybody gotten their glue gun working yet? Ah! Crap! You put staples in? Yeah. Nothing's coming out though. I know. Inside my room was definitely an extension of my personality. It was very simple and minimalist. For me, the actually most challenging part was running around the room. I was working up a sweat, I was dripping. I've never made a bed so fast in my life. But, uh, you know, I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. With the way it's going right now in my life, I probably don't see myself procreating anytime soon. So. I just wanted to design a kid's room. It just seemed like a fun idea. In the final moments of this, I decided to make a statement in my room and have one piece that would really stand out more than any other. The idea was to have a clock with broken hands that says, time stands still when I'm with you. That looks a lot like The Shining. <laughs> Ooh. 
he just, you know, stabbed himself in the back there at the last minute and clearly used that blood to write on the wall. All right, fellas, it's time for the ladies to judge, so it's also time for you guys to head out. Let's go. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Well, behind you are seven rooms that have been decorated by your teammates. You're gonna walk through each one, and then you're gonna rate each guy's room from best to worst. But you're not gonna know who was the designer until after you've already voted. You ready? Ready. Yes. We'll get to it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this one's cute and this one is cute. Ooh, and they put oh, chocolate. And it smells good too. What is this thing at the entrance? Like, this is like an outdoor mat. <laughs> this is when you put things in a kitchen, not a bedroom. I know! Those are ugly That's colors and the drapes. Those are ugly colors. So you. <laughs> Room three, I like the chocolates. I like the colors. It was really purpley and it was really soft. And it was like more of a romantic room. You see how the orange just sets everything off, kind of? This Room number four was my favorite. I liked how the guy had the blue, but then he had the orange accents to kind of like set it off. I like that a lot. It was very classic. Like, look at that. The first room that caught my eye was definitely the room with the Chinese symbol on the wall. Just all the uses of like the reds and the golds and the candles. I was just like, this guy definitely has a pretty good sense of style. When I'm with you, that looks like blood. Why would oh, someone do time, that for him? Definitely the writing on the I'm wall. Like in blood, that was psycho. This is an altar for after he kills you, he can confess his sin. <laughs> like if a guy took me into that room, I would, I would be scared. I would run. I would end the date immediately. What's up with the, the teddy bear on the wall? This one's getting my vote for worst room. Aww. I saw yeah, room number six, part. and I knew from the very beginning that the, I thought that room was the most hideous room. Oh my god, they killed the teddy bear! It had a bear stapled up to the wall. The room looked junky. It was really no central theme. If I hired somebody to put my little girl's room together and it looked like that, I wouldn't pay him. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> All right, ladies, let's bring in the designers. All right, guys, why don't you go ahead and take your ladies to the room that you decorated. Guess which, guess which, guess which? That one. When Aqua walked me to his room, I was so excited. When I couldn't believe that I picked my partner's room as my favorite room. Very cute. I'm proud, Tyson. Very proud. Oh no, that's not good. You would have done so much better if you didn't have that thing on the wall, dude. That was, that was, that was a last, psycho thing. That was like the last 30 seconds. Oh my it's god! It's a kid's room. <laughs> it's a kid's room for a kid. She's like, what were you thinking? What? Why did? You, why didn't you take my advice? Oh god! No, please tell me you're kidding. Please tell me this is a joke. She reacted like a five-year-old to my five-year-old room. All right, you guys, the votes are in, and now it's time to find out who did the best job with their interior decorating. We actually have a tie. We actually have a tie. The two guys who got the most votes are Joe, and Carl. That's Carl. So in the event of a tie, we go with the guy who got the most first place votes. So the guy that got the most first place votes is Joe. It is very nice to win because it confirms that I'm very capable of, you know, showing my creative side and, and designing a room, something I thought I'd never really be doing. The day before, Joe and I were talking, and I told him that I would like a room with pink and white comforter and flowers for the pictures, and he had cut up all these flowers and put it in a frame. So I was really impressed. Congratulations, Joe. You and Brittany just ensured that you are safe from the next elimination. And tomorrow, you'll get to pick a team to send to the elimination room. 
I'm really, really frustrated by the fact that uh, I got that close. I feel kind of how Al Gore must have felt in, uh, in 2000. All right, ladies, now it's your turn. In your study materials, you learned everything there is to know about computers. So here's your challenge. In each room, there is a sealed box with a computer in it. Your job is to put the computer together, hook it up to the internet, download one song, burn that song onto a CD, and then play that CD on the CD player already in the box. The good news is, you get to ask your guy two yes or no questions. The first lady to play her song on the CD player wins the challenge. Everybody ready? Yes. Go ahead. Jennifer's off to a good start. She's already plugging cables in. <laughs> Sarah looks to be a little confused. When she took the monitor cord and tried to plug both ends into the computer, I'm just like, oh god. Tristan looks like she's having trouble finding the right cables to go to the CPU to the monitor. Do I need to plug in the monitor? No. No? Don't worry about it. Wait, yeah, you do. Carl, does this need to go into the computer? Mm -hmm. Danielle started out really well, but then all hell broke loose. Where does this go? It's <laughs> going to I don't know where this stupid thing goes. There's uh, so many cords, I freaked out, I panicked, I couldn't find where to plug things in. So I was kind of like, God, I'm so stupid. I'm done, I don't know. All right, Cher, continuing to work very steadily, pretty close to having everything plugged in. Shoot, I have no freaking idea. You find the purple hole, you find the purple plug, put them together. And this is like common knowledge. Oh. Looks like Cher's gonna be the first to power up the computer. Good grief. Get on, you stupid thing. I wanted to make Tyson proud, even though I knew I messed up royally. Oh, I saw the light come on. Okay, so far, Cher and Tristan are actually sitting at their computers, so which means they're both powered up, and now they're trying to establish that internet connection. I think I can press on now, right? Yes. Can I press on now? Brittany has her computer logging on right now. <laughs> and Jennifer seems to be continuing to struggle a little bit with the cords. I was putting all the right you know, cords into the right buttons or whatever. And then I got to the monitor, and I didn't know that I had to connect the monitor to the back of the um, actual screen or whatever you call it. What do you call it? Just plug it in stuff. <laughs> and it looks like Cher's gonna be the first one. She's actually burning her CD right now, which means she's already on the internet and found a song. As soon as I hear, oh, Cheryl's pulling ahead, I'm like, wonderful, <laughs> fabulous, fan-freaking-tastic. Am I upside down? Right now, it looks like it's gonna come down to the race between Cher and Tristan. Complete! Come on, come on, come on. Cher has just put her CD into the CD player. He's gonna see if the song is downloaded. Come on, come on. Give it to me. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. All right, ladies, you can stop. We have a winner. Cher has played her song. Oh, if you didn't hate the bed, I would jump on it with you. Wow. I was so proud of her. I mean, I wanted to keep on jumping up and being like, you know, you go, girl. Like, just, I couldn't believe how well she did. I felt really good about what I had done. I stayed up all night studying. I read the whole book cover to cover. I studied really hard. So now, Cher and Josh, Joe and Brittany, you have the opportunity to send two teams to the elimination room. So I will let you guys think that over, and I will see you tomorrow. When I go back home, I'm going to take apart my computer and I'm going to put it together myself. You know, I'm going to learn a lot of things that I depended on other people for. This challenge definitely taught me how to be more independent. So what's your concern right now? I think Josh is trying really hard, but I don't think he's trying his best. I don't think he's he is listening to me as much as he should. We talk about what you're going to do with your challenges, right? Like for the first challenge, we wrote down all these things that we were going to do. Right. You only did one of those things, okay? Right. And then second challenge, we talk about color schemes. We talk about different things. You don't do any of it. I did. 
You put blue in the wall just so you could say, yeah, you do one thing that we talk about. Oh! Doesn't blue and purple go? No, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about all these different things that we're gonna do and you do exactly one thing that we talk about. Everyone came here needing to learn something. Cher needs to learn that she cannot just treat people the way she's been treating me. Hey. Hey. Do you guys know the name of the guy on Extreme Home Makeover? Ty? Pennington. Pennington. Thank you. I said, I said Beddington. Why did you give her that? Why did I give her that? Yeah, why did you give her that? She asked. His name's Ty Pennington. Someone else would have known that. You never know. I have held my tongue many, many times. And I just think that she needs to be told off a little bit. And I'm going to be the one that's going to have to tell her. And I don't look forward to that day, but that day, that day is coming. Um, here's the thing. Uh, I get the impression that Cher and Josh, that they're unsettled. Because Cher, when she was going around earlier today, She's kept to trying to see who was studying and who wasn't studying, and they might even change their mind. I'm still having second thoughts. Like, I think maybe we should send a team that didn't study into the elimination room because it's only fair. So who would that be? I'm not sure. She had some second thoughts. We, we thought we had settled it last night that it was going to be Chris and Tristan and Ty and Tyson. And that's who we were sending for sure. You don't want to send Wes and... Right. Everybody likes Wes and Carl, so we'll be the people who killed the clowns. Maybe the clowns have learned all they need to at clown college. It's open. Yes? Hey. hey. Oh, hi. So what's up? Josh is kind of having a change of heart. Are you still all in agreement? Can, those can I preempt you? Sure. My worry is we're doing exactly what Wes did with his room with 30 seconds to go, writing in red finger paint, you know, thinking, oh, it's going to be, be a good idea. I still feel that there's people here that benefit less from staying in the house. I know those are the fun people, and I know that it's Wes and Carl, but I don't see Wes. I don't see him needing to be here. I just think it's going to be one of these last minute decisions where I see us like walking down those stairs and still us thinking, you know, is this is this the right choice to make? What do we do, guys? I still feel like I need to work on a few things. And yeah, we've had like two missions only, but I feel that I'm gonna go home with a lot. And I can't wait to share these feelings with my friends and my family. And I hope I could take it home and I hope it stays with me for the rest of my life. The first time with elimination, I knew I was going. I knew, and that's why I studied the whole day before and up till three in the morning. And I knew I was going this time, I'm not sure. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Joe, you won the interior design challenge, so now you and Brittany have the power to send one team to the elimination room. Who are you going to send? Uh, well, it was a very, very difficult decision, and we felt like we wanted to choose people who were on top of their game and not at their weakest. Without further ado, we choose Chris and Tristan. Okay, so Chris and Tristan will be back in the elimination room. Cher, this is the second challenge in a row that you've won. Who are you going to send? I have to send one of my friends home. So I um, have to choose a team that I respect and personally care for. I'm, it, it, it's only because we respect you so much that we're sending you. I do want to announce that we will be sending Tyson and Ty to the elimination room. We're both very sorry to, to have to do this to anyone. And we wish you both, both teams, really the best, the best of luck. So now, Chris and Tristan, Tyson and Ty, you are headed to the elimination room. Ladies, you'll be answering questions about computers. Guys, You'll be answering questions about interior design. But by the end of the night, one of you will be leaving the mansion. So take some time to say goodbye, pack your bags, and I will see you 
back in the elimination room. It kills me that I might be going home tonight. I want to be here so bad, and I want to continue being friends with everybody. But I understand why Sharon and Josh sent us, and I'm still confident, and I'm still going to do my best. This is crap. This is complete crap. The first time I wasn't mad, I knew it was coming. This time I was like clinging like I've told many to the small hope that, okay, maybe people will go, well, she's gone before. Let's send someone else in there. I do think it's slightly personal for Cheryl with me. Cheryl doesn't like me. It's the same thing for me and Cheryl. Cheryl finds it easy to get rid of me. I find it very easy to get rid of Cheryl if I had the opportunity. So I wanted to be like, by the way, um, it's, I think it's better that you stay in the house and keep winning because you have a lot of stuff to work on. Tristan took the news pretty well. Someone better f eat her. I know. Please. And by pretty well, I mean she didn't cry because she normally cries. She's a big crier. I hugged her. That was nice, right? Just a girl thing. <laughs> so I was glad she didn't cry. EP, erasable, programmable, uh -huh. random access uh, memory. The quiz room does scare me. She's like a black JPEG. Uh, you and also, if you're Tristan and Chris have been in there, so they know what to expect. Hey guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know that it's been a pleasure meeting you all. And if I don't come back, you know, it's been a great time here, and I appreciate very much the, the genuine affections and fair play that we've all shown each other here. And um, I have a tremendous respect for yeah, all of you guys. We'll and see you later tonight. If I am to leave here tonight, I, I do it with no regrets, but attached to me is Ty, and I think she would enjoy being here as well. And so there aren't really many girls in my life, and so if I can do something nice for a girl, it's always a pleasure. All right, man. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, what about the girls? The girls need it. The girls, hugs, I hugs, group hugs. Hug. Okay. Group hug. Group hug. Oh, oh. Wow. Nice. I've never done that before. Okay, see you guys. All right, Ty. See you Best of luck. I'm confident going into this elimination. I know my stuff. I've studied hard. And I want to prove to myself, as well as everybody else, that I can come out of it. I don't know how what's going to happen, but I, I do hope I come back to those doors, because I definitely have unfinished business here. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the elimination room. I hope you guys have paid attention over the past few days because the outcome of this final round will decide who still has a chance at the $250,000 and who's headed home. I'm gonna give each of you three questions that will test the knowledge that your partners have helped you learn over the past few days. The team that gets the most answers correctly wins and stays in the house. Ladies, you'll go first. Gentlemen, you can head across the hallway to the viewing room. Tristan, you have the first question. Which number would you like to choose? Two. Number two. The main circuit board of a computer is known as what? Motherboard. The motherboard. Motherboard is correct. Okay, Ty, go ahead. Um, number one, please. Number one. According to your materials, the primary device that a computer uses to store information is called what? Would it be memory? Oh, sweet. That is incorrect. Oh. The correct answer is hard drive. Okay, one zero. Go ahead and select a number. Four, please. What does the acronym DVD stand yes. for? Digital versatile disc. That is correct. We would have also Ooh. taken All digital right. video disc. Ty, it's your turn. Um, number six, please. Number six. The CC in an email's address line stands for what? Oh, God. Gosh. I don't know. So 
I'm gonna make a guess. And I should know this. Ah. I didn't know what it stood for for a while. Certified contact? I don't know. That is incorrect. The correct answer is carbon copy. Ah, oh, I knew that. So, with one more question for each of you, Kristen, pick a number. Five, please. Your question is, the E in email stands for what? Electronic. Electronic. Yes! That is correct. Woo! Three in a row. Yeah! That's my girl! All right, Ty, this one is to keep your team close. And your question is, this man is the co-founder oh, of what company? I mean... Um, is it Microsoft? Microsoft is correct. Good job. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, please join us in the elimination room. That's my girl. Great job. Don't worry. It's now three to one. So, ladies, why don't you head across the hallway to the viewing room and wish your guys good luck. Good luck. I know, I do. Thanks, you did a great job. Okay, guys, now it's up to you. Chris, go ahead and pick a number. I'll go with number one. Number one. Which of these following people is not a well-known professional interior designer? Laura Ashley, Todd Oldham, or Kristen Cavallari? I, I didn't study that with him, he studied that page. Kristen Cavallari. That is correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that makes the score four to one. So Tyson, you have to get this correct to stay in the game. What number would you like to choose? I'll go with number two. According to your materials, you know that. the measure of threads per square inch in a particular fabric is traditionally referred to as what? The thread count. It's known as the thread count. He knows it. He knows that Good book. boy. That is correct. And you guys are still in the game. And with the score four to two, there's only two more questions for each of you. So if Chris gets this question right, he and Tristan win the game. Chris, which number? Number three. Your question for the win. For the win. According to your materials, this type of pattern derives its name because some people think it looks like a fish skeleton. I have no idea. He has no idea. He has no idea. He has no idea. Gingham? I'm gonna have to go with Pescado. What? That's incorrect. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Herringbone. Herringbone. I knew that. Herringbone. I knew, I knew that. that. I didn't know it, but I knew that. Okay, Tyson. You have to get this right to stay in the game. What number would you like to choose? I'm gonna go with number four. Your materials use what term to define a color scheme using just one color? Monochromatic. Monochromatic color scheme. He knew scheme. it. He knew it. It's He's cakewalk. so good. That's cakewalk. That is correct. The score is now four to three. As you can see, there's one question left for each of you. If Chris gets this one right, he and Tristan have won. Chris, which number would you like to choose? Number five. All right, your question to win the game. What is the name of this carpenter and popular TV host? <laughs> he knows this, he knows this. His name is Ty Pennington. Ah! We went over that together, Hoyle! That is correct. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. I'm gonna ask the ladies to come back from the viewing room and rejoin your teammates. Congratulations, Chris and Tristan. Thanks. Great job. Ty and Tyson, you ran into a very tough team this evening. Yes, we did. You guys did great. I'm sorry. Now, I do have to ask you to leave the mansion. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. 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 Chris. Oh, man. Chris. You're an awesome guy. Hi guys. Well, congratulations, you two. You are a very tough team. I've got to think now, people are going to start thinking twice before they send you here. <laughs> I, I hope so. I was hoping that the first time. <laughs> it didn't work before. My guess is there's a group of people that are very excited to see who is going to be coming up those stairs. All right, why don't you guys go rejoin the rest of the group? I really hope that when I go back to my life, I'll be able to be more comfortable with taking risks and seizing opportunities. I really hope that the confidence that I've learned here will carry through. Tyson has changed during these days in the house. He's more sociable. He will jump into conversations. He'll put his two cents in. He will participate in groups. And so I think he's way more confident than he was when he first arrived. Ty is a very smart person, and hopefully she can learn that she has much to offer, and she doesn't have to rely on how she looks all the time, and she can accomplish a lot in this world. It's so hard to say goodbye to these guys just because they're so genuine. They're not putting a front up when they talk to me. They're not trying to impress me. They're just being themselves. I didn't realize I was going to learn so much from these people. $250,000 is nice, but I think uh, I'm able to leave here with a friend, and I think that's ultimately my big prize. Thank you! Next time on Beauty and the Geek, the guys get ready to go on their first dates by getting a makeover. This will get dirty so quickly. I'm not looking for dirty encore, looking for cute. Uh, I'm tiny. Yeah, so... Is there a children's section? And they'll learn sometimes it hurts. Oh, sweet! Oh! Ah! To look this good. I present to you, Anker. <laughs> and you won't believe what Chris says. It's great to be able to talk to a smart girl every once in a while. That drives Tristan to the brink. I am not unintelligent, and I am offended with someone calling unintelligent on the next beauty and the geek this is lizzie catholic we just finished a fresh episode of related don't miss it nine eight central on the wb monday